See a Christmas Carol is a holiday tradition for many families. It's a tale of Ebenezer Scrooge and his bah humbug attitude and how he turns it around. The iconic play is now in its 43rd year at the Guthrie Theater. We caught up with the director and Nathaniel Fuller, the actor who plays Scrooge, and they took us behind the scenes. Merry Christmas indeed. What reason have you to be merry? It's hard as if you are rich. He's a, somewhat abandoned in his youth, left to go to a school as parents have neglected him. His, uh, his sister died in childbirth. He's bitter and he's shut himself off. And I think of him as kind of dead inside. I think of this play as, as what it means to be alive. There's a procession of people coming in and out, timed almost to the moment. You don't want to get behind schedule or everything gets fouled up for the opening of the show. So, and it, even during the show, there are people coming in and changing wigs. And then uh, when I put the wig on, I probably crush it down. I put a hat on that, crushes it down, and it begins to look very Scrooge-like. Ah, uh, humbug. Yeah, so, you know, I'm going around like this, and all of a sudden... Spirit, you see things which I cannot. Tell me, please, if Tiny Tim will live. He forgets how much joy he had when he was younger, and then he realizes the pain that hit him, and it's a huge emotional range. My name is Lauren Keating. I'm the director of A Christmas Carol at the Guthrie Theater. The balcony you'll see doesn't go all the way around. We have something over here called the slope, which means that you can be sitting at the top of the slope and you're looking directly onto the stage. That kind of a view and that kind of scope isn't something that you can get in very many theaters. And it allows the audience to feel very close to the action. How is this different and why is it different? Well, I think with every classic, it's important to always be looking at it with a new set of eyes for this moment. So why do we keep making these classics? I think Christmas Carol is a great classic. If you just saw Scrooge walking down the street, say, from the beginning of the play, you'd think, well, that's a mean guy. I don't want to have anything to do with him without knowing, oh, these are all the things he's been through in his life. He actually has so much to offer his community. And how do we find the generosity in ourselves to see that in other people in our actual lives? That's a real imperative that I think we can all take something from. So you see, when you look at it, it can be Christmas whenever you want. It was uh, such a pleasure to be able to talk uh, to those guys for like over an hour mm -hmm. yesterday. Um, Nat Fuller, he's uh, he's been a part of this production for quite a while. In fact, he's been in every production of A Christmas Carol at the Guthrie since 1988, with the exception of one. This is his fifth time playing mm -hmm. Scrooge, and we learned that this is also the longest continuously running a Christmas Carol in the country. It's pretty incredible, and we learned another insider tip that if you look up from the parking garage in front of the Guthrie, and you look up to the second floor glass wall, well, behind there is that wig run room that you saw in the piece. So if you're paying attention about 30 minutes before the show starts, you'll likely see a lot of activity there, and you may catch actors running back and forth, getting into character, getting their wigs put on. Pretty neat. It's the show before the show. Exactly. So. Look there. A Christmas Carol is playing at the Guthrie through December 30th. There are two shows today, 1 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Tickets are going fast, though, so check before you head out the door. And those tickets start at $49.